Hey, Scorpio. So, I was getting that. I feel like your intuition is telling you something about an, an, like an earth sign. Could be a fire sign, but I'm getting more earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Also, you could be leaving something behind, like, in order to focus on money. Because money could be going really good for you right now, or you have an idea that you know you can make a lot of money. And maybe you have to leave something behind. Okay. So we have the sun card here. So I feel like whatever situation you are in, you're seeing the situation for what it is. Whether it's good or bad. Like with the sun, I feel like it's good. Okay. I forgot this card. But you're seeing everything. Nothing is getting past you right now. You have the Ten of Swords. Okay. So you could be letting go of a lot of, like, ideas about things. Uh, these messages are coming in weird. But I definitely feel like you're letting go of a lot. Okay. Yeah. You could think that someone or someone could think that you are being unfaithful or just a little bit sneaky. It could be friendships that you feel like are not on the up and up and I think you're seeing like everything for what it is he could be dealing with a Leo but I really just think that this is just you seeing everything I have the six of cups okay so maybe someone from the past wants to come back to you or you're reviewing things from the past friendships anything that maybe you've been friends with people for a long time or something really getting a lot of friend ownership or uh, energy okay. so I get more for Scorpio so I'm been rising with Venus signs Ooh, the world card so I feel like with the ten of swords and the world you could be ending a situation that you're or you want to or your intuition is telling you that you should and I feel a little bit of hesitant energy, but I think you might actually do this. The Seven of Swords, you could think that something is wrong, and something might be wrong, like your intuition could be telling you that. Definitely could be about a relationship with the Six of Cups here. Maybe you've been with someone for a pretty long time, or you guys need a, a renewal of some sort. You could be married. But yeah, we have the Seven of Wands and the Seven of Swords. So there is something going on and you know it. With the sun, lights, I mean, it's it's going to be known. You're going to figure it out. Have the Page of Pentacles. So this is you watching this, like, really studying the situation that you're in. It could be, definitely could be a relationship. But the world card is... Um, Saturn, so you could be dealing with a Capricorn. Ooh, yeah, the magician. Okay, so you could be trying to manifest or trying to work things, like whether it's in work or like a relationship, but you are trying to make things work. But I feel like what you're doing, you're keeping it to yourself. I really think with this page of pentacles, you're just observing a situation. So you guys could have got a new job or got a new job offer or are looking for a new job. Or maybe a new position in work. Damn. You have the Eight of Swords. So yeah, I feel like something's holding you back from actually, like, I feel like you are thinking a lot. Because I don't think you know how to move or somebody doesn't know how to move in this situation. Because I think that you are not 100% sure that somebody is cheating or maybe that somebody has options or something you're still confused about it but you're on to it clarify the sun for scorpio let just clarify the sun for scorpio there's the sun card here Ooh. ace of cups okay so a leo could have offered you something new or you want to Start something that's going to make you happy. It doesn't have to be a relationship. But there is something that you would like to do that makes you happy. Whether it's actually moving locations or it could be a new person. It could be a Pisces coming up for you or a Cancer. 
Clarify the Ace of Cups with the Sun card. Let's clarify the Ace of Cups with the Sun card. I do feel like maybe there's a Leo that has their eye on you. Yeah, Ace of Wands. Somebody definitely has their eye on you, feels very passionate for you, and I also think that they are not voicing this to you. If I have a Ten of Swords. There's a Ten of Swords here. Something's not being let go of, but you want to let go of it. What if I have a Ten of Swords? You can feel like your hands are definitely tied in a situation. Like you can't, you don't have a choice but to stay in this situation. You could feel like really bound to this situation, like trapped in this situation. You have the double card. So you could be dealing with the Capricorn, but this could also mean that you just feel very trapped in a situation, like you can't get out of it. Got a seven of swords. Or maybe they feel like this. You can go vice versa, but. Hmm. Okay. They've got a seven of swords. You could think someone's cheating, or someone could think you're cheating. They've got a seven of swords. I'm also getting tight leash. Maybe somebody, you have somebody on a tight leash, or somebody has you at a tight leash, something like that. Ooh, okay. So you have the tower clarify the seven of swords. You could have found out about this. Could be a water sign involved, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Clarify the tower with the seven of swords. Somebody could have realized something about this situation or this relationship. You could also feel stuck in a job maybe that you do that you don't like. Or maybe the person that you're dealing with. Clarify the tower. Why is the tower card here? Clarify the tower. The Knight of Wands, okay, so maybe you guys have to move. Like, all of a sudden, maybe you have to move. Like, I feel like this is, like, this could be like your house got set on fire or something. Like, this is, because with the Knight of Wands, this is a card of moving, and I'm definitely feeling like that. Or you could have found out that somebody that you're with is, oh, no, this can, I mean, this card can be a player, but from this energy, I'm actually getting more. This is the home. Something in the home is happening that is causing you guys to have to make a quick move or something happened that made you want to move. Clarify the Six of Cups. I just clarify the Six of Cups. This definitely could be an ex wanting to come back in a picture, ex trying to communicate with you. But with the Seven of Wands, I do feel like you are very guarded to the situation. You're very, like, not about to deal with this type of energy. Clarify the Six of Cups. Just clarify the Six of Cups for Scorpio. Yeah, could be a marriage that you're in. Okay, got a six of cups. Somebody might want to offer you stability. Or you to someone else. Okay, yeah. Four of Wands wanted to come out. So, yeah, this could definitely be a marriage. Or somebody trying... Maybe somebody wants you to have their kids. No, there's that. But, yeah, someone wants stability with you. Clarifying the world is the queen of pentacles, so... Definitely towards her Capricorn energy, or somebody might want to end or start a cycle with you. Could be an Earth sign, strong Capricorn energy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe somebody, maybe you guys want to focus on money, or this is you wanting to just focus on money. What if I have a Seven of Wands? Why is the Seven of Wands here? Why is the Seven of Wands here for Scorpio? Okay, so you, if this is between you and a person, you could be fighting a lot. I feel like there's a lot of people's opinions outside of the relationship or a lot of people's rumors or something like that that is like really having an effect on your relationship. Because like Three of Cups, I always, like I consider Three of Cups, it can be a third party situation, but it's also kind of a gossip card for me because people at parties and people get together to talk. So I feel like... People could be talking about your situation or you're looking for like guidance about your situation and you're just really thinking and there's a new there's a new offer here for you. You got the ace of wands and the ace of cups. So there's a new offer here and you're sitting here thinking about this. But he's just looking up at this cup like should I do this? I feel like that's you. 
clarify the page of pentacles i also think you're looking at this situation from all angles like you're playing out the pros and cons in your head of if you stayed if you went if you started this new situation oh, okay lover's card showed itself to me that shows me somebody does have options in love could be you and you're trying to choose which way you want to go to stay in the relationship that you're in if you're in one or to start something new clarify the page of pentacles let's clarify the page of pentacles also, with this Knight of Wands, this could be your energy, just wanting to maybe be single and focus on abundance. So, yeah, nobody knows that you're contemplating this. Nobody knows about that. The moon card. Clarify the moon. Why is the moon card here for Scorpio? Why is the moon card here for Scorpio? Mm, yeah, Three of Swords. You're contemplating a breakup. Whether I feel like and this is you going to break up with this person. You are contemplating this. Somebody else could be contemplating this, but I feel like it's you. Clarify the Magician. Clarify the Magician. Could be dealing with a Gemini or a Virgo. Yeah, Six of Swords. You're, I feel like you're moving, like, Moving more towards, because you just want things to be peaceful again. Like, if you guys can change the way the relationship is going right now, I feel like you're 100% willing to stay in it. But if it's not going to change, then I think you want to let it go. Clarify the Eight of Swords. Why is the Eight of Swords here? And you've been thinking about this heavily. Yeah, Ten of Wands. You feel tied. You feel um, tied to these burdens. Oh, wow. So with the star card and temperance, these are definitely better things coming for you, balance coming in the relationship. So maybe you guys do decide to work this out. I have the 10 of wands. I mean, why is the 10 of wands here for Scorpio? Why is the 10 of wands here? Okay, eight of swords, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, the Ten of Wands clarifying the Eight of Swords, clarifying the Ten of Wands as the Eight of Swords. So yeah, you feel very bound, very stuck in this situation. But yeah, I do feel balance is coming in for you though. Okay. Reverse, what's the advice for Scorpio? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. What is the advice for Scorpio? Messenger of Earth. Okay, so if there is an Earth sign that needs to tell you something, you need to tell an Earth sign something, definitely tell them. Also, this can mean some news coming in about money or abundance. Maybe this is a new job offer. The advice would be to take the job. I feel like it would make you very happy. Ooh, Sun card. Yeah, go towards whatever makes you happy, whatever you know you should be doing, like what your heart says you should do, go for that. And we have the strength card. So the advice here is to be strong and have courage to say and do whatever you need to do for your own happiness. Okay. Just so we all got fucked up because somebody decided to call me. Don't call me ever. Anyway, I'm just kidding. <laughs> all right. Not really. Anyway. All right. I need a card for Scorpio. Anyways, I need a card for Scorpio. Seven and rising with Venus signs. Oh, yes. Be true to you. So, like I said, do whatever you know that you should do and what will make you happy, even if that means leaving a long-term relationship that you've been in for a while. Whatever. If it's going to make you happy, you got to do that. Family changes. So, I do feel like this will cause a lot of changes in your family life, especially if you guys have been together for a while or are married, then this will cause a lot of change for you. We have finances, so I feel like if there is a new job that you want to take or you want to apply for a new job or something, then go ahead and go for it. But yes, Scorpio, I hope this was a good reading for you. If you would like a personal reading, there's information down below on how to get one. And yeah, enjoy the rest of your week.